Welcome to Bee Monster Laboratory, where we explore anything related to stem learning, circuits, and amateur robotics. Today we're going to take a look at Snap Circuits Arcade by Alenco. This product contains over 35 pieces and a booklet with over 200 projects. Let's check it out. So this is the box that it comes in. It has the picture of the uh, Snap Kits Arcade on the front. Contains over 35 parts. And it has a booklet with over 200 projects in here, including 20 plus build and play games. And uh, again, it's part of the Snap Circuits. Um, they have a whole line of Snap Circuits that you can buy. They have different ones. This one happens to be the arcade, which I think is pretty fun. It comes with a battery holder, which I put um, batteries in. These are the uh, members mark batteries. So there is your uh, battery pack. It does come with that. Here you have an LED display and a microcontroller. You can see that right there. And it looks like you can take the back off if you ever needed to do any kind of repair. You see those little tabs right there. Just stick a small screwdriver in there and it snaps right on there. Here you have a speaker. And all this stuff snaps right onto the base. The base of your your whole station here, just like so. That's what's going to keep it in place, and it's very sturdy, like I said. So this is your speaker. Here you have snap wires. Now you have different lengths of snap wire. You have, I think, six two-section snap wires. You have one four-section snap wire, and one five-piece snap wire, and you have a couple of singles right here single piece snap wires, which you'll use. You have two of those. So those will connect right on these little snaps right here. And it will connect to another section right here. And that's how you link this side of the battery to whatever you're building to the other side of the battery terminal, a positive and negative. So that's what these are for. Here you have your jumper cables. And they can just stretch over, they're not fixed position like this right here, they can stretch over anything. And they do come in handy as well. So make sure you don't lose your jumper cables. Um, over here, let's see, we have a, a selector. This is your selector, your three button selector. Got the three A, B, and C here. And all this stuff I assume is replaceable or you can work on it by snapping the back off these little tabs so uh, the next thing is a press switch I'm putting that in a, uh, a press switch right here that looks to be replaceable as well if anything ever happened to that and uh, right here is a slide switch and again it has that same backing you can take a look at the snap the way it snaps that's right on there. So the next thing we'll look at is an MPN transistor. Uh, that's this guy right here. MPN transistor. And then you got your, your PNP transistor. The next thing we'll look at is the disc motor, which is this right here. And this will operate things like your disco ball where it's kind of like a half disco ball they put on there and then light will shoot up through it. You'll see. Um, and the cool thing about this is this is repairable too. If you, if your motor ever goes bad for some reason, you've got tabs right here on the underneath on the underside and you can slide that right off. Take a little screwdriver right here, take that off and replace that motor. That's what I like about this. It looks like you can also take the back off with these tabs. So if you're ever inclined to repair your own, your own stuff, then, and then it snaps right back on. Of course you gotta line it up right. So very neat. So that's your motor, your DC motor. 
Uh, the next thing would be the programmable fan. And this snaps on as well to the base. And then you can snap other items onto it. And it's programmable um, through the microcontroller. And it's got an LED right here, strip. And it'll, you can make it say messages as the fan is spinning around. It's pretty neat. Um, kids love this. And uh, so here are your disco balls. And they're different in the fact that uh, this one will break a beam of light in many more angles than this one right here. You can see these are bigger. So it'll put different patterns on the ceiling as it's spinning. And it connects to this pole right here which we, you will put into the motor and it'll spin as it's connected to the battery pack here. So very neat. So uh, right here you have a, um, an LED a diode, a red light emitting diode. And this is totally replaceable because these, these LEDs will burn out at some point, um, maybe a long time from now, I don't know. But uh, you just snap it back off there put a new one on they're, they're very cheap you can buy a ton of them on amazon and then you have a a green led light emitting diode and it's i mean you can replace all this stuff so over here you have a red yellow bicolor light emitting diode so sometimes it is yellow sometimes it is red depending on the current going through it so Pretty neat, pretty cool. So that is an introduction. I think I covered all the pieces. So that's what you get in the box. Now the book, the manual has um, one to 203 projects in here. It'll take you forever to go through all the projects. It is laid out very well. As you flip through here, you can see a list of everything you should have. If you buy this used online, uh, there are a lot of these on eBay, a lot of them on Mercari. I recommend both of those sites. I've never had a problem with either. Here it tells you about the, the parts, the snap circuit parts. It's all colorful, very well laid out. Anything by Lenco is just top shelf stuff. Uh, I really, I really like this company and, and everything that they do. You can look at the products online. Um, very good book. So here we have a list of of all your projects. Let's say you go through all these projects and you like, you really liked, you really like Project Eighty Eight, which is a slow, fast word fan. Sounds pretty cool. So you turn to Project Eighty Eight. Here's Project Eighty Eight, and you would build this according to the diagram here. It has all kinds of extra information for you, but this, this encourages kids to uh, be goal-oriented, uh, problem-solving, it, it's educational, that's what I love about this stuff, and it's fun. So if it wasn't fun, nobody would want to do it. This is even fun for adults. I enjoy doing this, and, and I'm old. So, very neat, very cool. We'll do one of these projects just to show you what it's like and uh, see what you think about it. Okay, since I mentioned Project 88 is a slow, fast word fan. So we'll just do that one. It looks pretty simple. And one thing I just noticed, I didn't notice before, but it's got what it's got a grid right here. And it tells you uh, where you can go ahead and put the battery pack. So isn't that neat? So we'll turn it around. It says to put it on eight. And that uh, looks like down one here. So we'll put it right there. I never really followed that before. I always, I always just started over here on this side and just worked my way over. But uh, hey, you know, whatever. So we need a an S1. Let's go ahead and put down S1 before we put these, these guys down. Uh, because these are going to be on top. So pick up your S1, which is a slide switch. And to match it up just like it is on the diagram there and we'll put that right here All right and it is in the off position then we'll put on a number two snap it on there I'm gonna need the fan of course so 
So we will grab the fan and I will place that on grid 3B. The alphabet's over here, A, B, C, D. Numbers over here. Oh, you know what? That two right there is down on the bottom here. It's down on the base. So you're gonna put that down there and you're gonna stack this on top of that. And then you're gonna stack this one on top of that. Everything's gotta be level, at least with this part. Q2 transistor and it looks like it is turned like that. So you look up E and there's two, go right there. So you take your Q1, it's on the bottom here. E6 uh, is gonna be this right here. So look up E, there's E and a number six. Yeah, right here. You are going to have your S2 switch on top of the Q1 PMP transistor. Be right there. Now you're going to need to put, actually this goes on the bottom. This goes down here because you need everything level. So that will prop this up, make it all flat. And then you need your three section connector to connect your Q2 and Q1 or NPN, PNP transistors. So connect that right there. Here it says turn on the slide switch S1. The programmable fan spins and may slowly display messages. Push and press uh, switch S2, which is this guy, to speed up the fan and slow down display messages. There you go. You got to hold it down. There's your message. Do you see that? It's going faster. It's going slower. And it says warning, uh, moving parts, do not touch the fan while it's spinning. When connected as shown in the circuit, the Q1 and Q2 transistors act as a speed bump to reduce the voltage to the programmable fan. So that's what these are for. Pressing S2 bypasses the speed bump so that the fan spins at full speed and its messages circuit can operate properly. Isn't that cool? What's more educational than that? I don't know. And this is a lot of fun. We enjoy playing with this all the time. So hopefully we'll continue playing with it. Anyway, there are a lot of different projects here, some involving you know, your, your connector cables, your jumper cables, some, some involving your disco ball, and then you can probably go off on your own and do some of your own stuff. So anyway, that is your demo. Well, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, don't forget to like the video by clicking the thumbs up. Also, share it with somebody, and don't forget to follow. We'll see you next time.